Hey, what up everyone? This is Mondo all day back with another video and in this video I'll be doing a guide slash overview for Warframe. I'll be kind of going over some of the basics and the fundamentals of this game um, Just a disclaimer. I am NOT a professional at this game. I don't have thousands of hours. I'm fairly still new um, So again, this is just based upon the knowledge and what I've done so far in this game So again, if you're a veteran player of the Warframe Please leave in the comment section, you know, kind of give me suggestions for new players because this video is intended for new players who are barely starting with this game, who are a bit intimidated, or for individuals who have never played this game but are interested in it but don't know what to do. Because when I, I know, I remember when I first started playing, I was intimidated by this game because there's so much but there's no really good tutorials. So I'm hoping that with this video, it helps out newer players to not only get into the game but kind of, you know, get a good understanding of what certain things are and I'll be going over some of the basics so yeah so let's get right into it so after when you first start playing this game you'll have the opportunity to choose three different characters um, either Mag, Excalibur or Rhino I'm not too sure don't quote me on that um, people say don't choose Mag choose the other two but honestly choose wherever you want I chose Mag but it is what it is but other people say choose I think it's Excalibur or Rhino I, get, I don't remember but it's been a while but Choose whoever you want. Once you choose that, and you start playing with, you know, when you f defeat that first, second mission, okay, then you will be going to the navigation. Navigation will be your key thing, which is the main thing here. Navigation is you're going to be go to. This is where you choose the missions you want. You have to do. This is where you complete certain quests and tasks. So when you first start playing, the first planet will actually I'll zoom out. So these are all the planets here in the solar system. You got your, um, Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, uh, Mars, Earth, the list goes on and on and on. Okay, so when you first start playing, the first planet will be Earth. Okay, and all you zo um, the way you zoom in is just scroll in, scroll out, or up and down with your mouse. But this is where you first start, is Earth. Okay, and then within within each planet, there are different types of missions. So, for instance, Lith here, if you hover over it, it tells you what kind of gives you information about this mission. So, for the, for Earth, Lith, this mission is a defense mission. The type of enemies or faction is Grenier. The level difficulties of enemies is one through six. Each one's different. For instance, Mantle is capture mission. Um, enemies are Grenier, and the level of difficulty is two to four. Obviously, the the more planets you go to, the difficulty changes. For instance, if you go to Mercury, just to give you an example, and Prime mission is exterminate faction or type of enemies is infestation level seven to nine. And if you go to, I know a big one over here is um, Sedna, which I haven't unlocked a bunch of stuff, but um, this right here again, the type of mission is defense type of faction or enemies and infestation level 35 to 45 so again the more planets you unlock the more um, you know the difficulty of the enemies increase obviously so again each planet has different missions and there's a bunch of them as you can see here okay now how do you you move from one planet to another it's really easy um, if you notice they're all connected somehow so let's say you're on earth and you want to go to Venus which is the next planet next to earth so in order for you to do, move to another planet, you have to complete the junction. In this case, it's uh, Venus Junction. All you do is hover over it, and it tells you what you need to do. And I'll read it to you guys. So for this junction, in order for me to go to Venus, I have to complete this. I need to unlock the Venus Junction and complete it. So in order for me to unlock the Venus Junction, I have to complete the quest of Wars Prize, collect 20 mods, apply for mods to a single frame, upgrade any mod to rank 2, and defeat 3 Eximus enemies on Earth. Once you do that and you get all the check marks, then you unlock the junction, and all you do is click on it, defeat the boss for that junction, fairly easy, and then after that you unlock the next planet. In this case, it will be Venus. And then again, same thing. Now I will say though, in order for you to, and let's say you unlock Venus, right, and you you're at E gate for Venus. If you want to proceed to Mercury, you have to complete the missions that are in between. So in this case. If, if you unlock Venus and you barely started here with E gate, it means you have to do uh, Unda, uh, Kilikan, I, I don't know how to pronounce these, so Aphrodite, and then it unlocks Mercury Junction. So you can't just skip it, you, you kind of have to do the missions that are connecting to that junction. Alright, so I would say my advice, apart from doing the quest, is I, I would recommend just do the missions, 
of other, you know, other, just do the mission within that planet. That way, you can not only do you level up your, your Warframe, but also you unlock that, you know, you unlock more, you know, more missions. And they're very important for the alerts. And I'll go over that, what that is, but... Yeah, so that's what it is. You start Earth and you move on and complete the junction. And the cool thing about too is when you complete the junction, you get rewards. If you notice here in the bottom, it gives you six rewards for Venus Junction. There's a Furious Blueprint, which is a weapon. There's a mod. So again, there are multiple times you get weapons. So just, just you know, forewarned. So that's why I always recommend always do you know, play the game and do the quest and unlock more planets because the more planets you unlock, the rewards you get. You know, good. You get weapons. And obviously you get higher difficulty enemies and get better loot. So that's that. Alright, so it's when you start off as Earth. So now on the top right, I'm going to show you what you, I'm not show you, but describe to which each one does. So the first thing right here is the quest. This is where you do all your missions. And it shows you where the quests you have active. So right, for instance, I have one that's active right now and two that are pending. So all you do is click on one of them and it will either teleport you to that mission you have to complete or it'll tell you what you have to do. There all there will be some missions or quests that you have to build or craft certain things. Just for warning you guys. But this is where you do your quests. I highly recommend doing the quests. Apart from unlocking the planets, I highly recommend doing the quests. Because the more quests you unlock, I mean you complete the you know the more you can, you know the more you can do the junction because there's there will be some junctions will say that you have to complete a certain quest in order for you to unlock that junction so i would say definitely do the quest and definitely do all missions within the planets okay this is what this first one is the second thing here is alerts what alerts is is every hour or so it changes the different types of missions and rewards so for instance right now this alert um the first one here is zini and it's Ares planet and tells you the level of difficulty for enemies is 34 or 44 the type of mission which is defense and the type of enemies which is corpus but the award for this alert is 43 uh, 14,000 credits okay the next one same thing tells you what planet it is what level of difficulty of enemies type of mission which is rescue and the enemies corpus and then it tells you the rewards which is 11,000 credits and then 15 oh, 115 uh, 150 endo resource and the list goes on and on okay there's different types in every i think it's every hour or so but anyways i would highly recommend keeping an eye out especially when you first start playing because this alerts will sometimes give you good items or give you free like helmets and cost and like skins like friends this one here this this alert the kill uh killer saturn it's a when you complete this mission you get a skin a blueprint skin for this particular type of weapon so if you have a weapon here you have this weapon it gives you a different skin a different appearance for that particular weapon so when you first start playing I would say keep an eye on this too because there will be some times where you'll get some really good mods or you'll get parts for Warframe so that way you can create parts that you need in order for you to build um, you know build the Warframe aka new character so this alerts. Now we'll say this too that when you first start playing, you won't have everything unlocked. You might have one thing, because again, when you first start playing, you only have be able to fight. You know, you only be able to um, do the mission that you've unlocked. That's why I recommend playing. You know, the missions within that planet because the more missions you complete within that planet, the likelihood of you getting that, you know, having that um, alert unlocked is a lot higher. And I say this because and I'll give you an example. So let's just say there's an alert, right, for a new. Uh, let's say there's an alert. Just to give you an example, there's an alert for a part for a new Warframe, a new character, right? And I need that part, and it tells you, okay, the mission for this alert, you need it's some Planet Phobos and it's Memphis. The mission, uh, you know, the, the mission is Memphis. But you notice how we have it here; it's locked. I won't be able to do that alert because it's locked. But if I were to defeat or if I were to complete the Kepler mission in Phobos, which then it will unlock Memphis and then I can do the alert. See what I mean? That's why I suggest do the missions within that planet. That way you can have a higher chance of basically like my, like me right now. I can do any alert that shows up because I've been complete not all of them, but I can show I can do a show. I can do the alerts that come up. So that's that. The next one is invasion. Honestly, for me playing, the amount of hours I've been playing, I've never done this. So, 
Again, I apologize for the veteran Warframe players, but I'll be honest, I've never done this, so again, I'm so new, so I'm gonna skip this. Next one is syndicates. Syndicates are syndicate. These are missions that help. They give you points for your syndicate. Think of syndicates as like a like a like a club, so to speak. And I'll go over that in a bit, and I'll show you guys what it looks like and why it's important. But for the section here, and I think when you first start playing, this is locked. I'm not too sure, and I can't remember. But um, again, these are missions for your syndicate. So what you do is it tells you again. It tells you what's what's the mission called. Where it's located at in Mercury, and the level of difficulty of enemies, which is 2025, 20, the type of mission, which is capture, and the reward, which is 3,600 points to that syndicate. Okay, that's what it is. So when you first start playing, I don't think this is open. I think it's locked, but don't quote me on that. Next is Void Fishers. This is really important. Uh, this is probably going to be the second thing you're going to be doing in this game. Apart from other things as well, but this is probably be, actually you know, I think this might be number one because this is where a game becomes free, and I'll go over it at the end. I explain to you how this how this game is free, but what this is in short is void fishes are missions that where you unlock or open your relics, and again I'll go over what relics are and show you what they what they what they offer in terms of when you're opening it. So what you do is same thing, they're missions, and it tells you what it is, name of the mission. Where it's located, which is Mars, enemy difficulty, 14 to 16, the type of mission, which is spy, type of enemies, Grenier, and the bottom it tells you here what type of relic. In this case, the Lith. Lith, sorry. So this Lith, there's Meso, there's Neo, and there's Axi. And it's important to remember. So and I'll, again, everything will, will make sense at the very end. I'll show you guys and explain to you guys what relics are and so forth. But Again, this is like the key thing to make this game free. You'll be going here quite often. So, yeah. And also, too, there is a time limit for each one. So keep that in mind. All right. Next is the sorties. I'll let, I'll let him talk. Um, this is a sort of... <laughs> so every day, there's a new sorties, all right? And so, so what sorties are, it's, uh, I think once you complete the War Within or Second Dream quest, I'm not too, I am not I can't remember to be honest with you, but once you complete it, you unlock sorties. So what sorties are, and is where you, you do the same thing, you do missions, but each mission has a certain, different condition. And I'll read you the first one. So the first one is Mariana, name of the mission. It's located on Earth. The level of difficulty for enemies is 50 to 60 mission type is exterminate and the conditions the enemy physical enhancement and again this is really important to know because um, some of the conditions like for instance like number three mission number three um, it says here name of the mission Rhea location Saturn level difficult level of difficulty of enemies 80 to 100 mission is rescue but the condition shotgun only so it means that you can only use a shotgun so you have to read the conditions because uh, for when I first started, when I recently, you know, had access to the sorties, I didn't have a shotgun. So there were times where I couldn't play this sort sortie, couldn't complete it because I didn't have a shotgun. You have to, you can't complete this particular mission if you don't have a shotgun. So keep that in mind. So again, every day he changes the mission and the rewards pool is really, really good. I don't want to read them all to you because you guys can read it. You guys can read it yourself, but you can get really good rewards. So that's again, that's the sorties. So just to reiterate what this is, this is the planet. You start off with the Earth. In order for you to unlock a different planet, you have to complete the junction. And then all you do is hover over the junction and it tells you what you need to complete. Once you have all the green marks or check marks, excuse me, click on it, defeat that boss for that junction, and you move on to the next planet. I recommend doing the missions within that planet. That way, you can level up your character, but also, too, you won't have an issue when it comes to a specific alert. Or sorting, and then this so you go from there. Quest. This first one here is quest. It tells you the mission, the story. I would say do quests as well too. That way you can level up, um, level up your character, but also too uh, you can unlock junctions and you get warframe. There are some junctions where an junction. I'm sorry. There are some quests that give you free warframe. All you do is complete the quest and you get the warframe for free. So keep that in mind. Next one is alerts. It changes every hour and it gives you three different rewards. Either it gives you a skin, it gives you a mod, or it gives you item for a Warframe, apart from a Warframe. I'll skip Invasion because I've never done it. 
syndicates are missions for your syndicate to get points. Board fishers, you missions to open up your relic, and then sorties is again every day, and you do the missions, and then at the end you get a pretty good reward. So that's again, this is just navigation, and th that's that. Next is, and I don't want to read again. I'm not going to go over everything in detail. Just some of the stuff that I usually do.